Where, where, where is Adria? Where, where, where is Adria? Hello everyone, I'm Adria, yeah, you know me, right? Do you remember about my face? Oh, where I have been all this time? I've been away, away. You know guys, I hate winter, so I've just been... Anyway, here I am, Adria from KajabiExperts.com, here, hello, hello, hello. So, here I am back again with a new and exciting... Uh, oh, oh, wait a second. Yeah? Hello? Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, yeah. The drop down. Drop down menu. All right. Oh, Premiere. But 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 what about but what about in Hero it's like Ah, all right. Okay, okay. Okay, perfect. Perfect. We'll do. Okay, bye bye. Bye. So, it looks like you guys want to know how to do the drop down menu in the Premiere theme, right? So why we don't do a video to show it off? Yeah, I'm gonna do a video and yeah, it's not very hard, but uh, you need to touch some code. So I'm gonna prepare a video for you showing you how to do the drop down menu in the Premiere theme. But let me just tell you that if you have, you, if you have the Hero theme, you don't have to follow these instructions. You can just point and click and create your drop down menu. But for those of you who don't have the Hero theme, here are the instructions for the Premiere theme. With a little bit of code, you're gonna have a very nice drop down menu. So, the first thing that we're gonna do is to open one of the themes that we have with Premiere. So, in this case, I have this test drop down and I'm gonna open the preview and I'm gonna open the edit code. So, we have one window here with the preview which is, for my case, a fresh install of Premiere, and we have here the code view. Then we need to decide if the option that we want to add as a drop-down is going to be before the menu itself or after the menu itself. So then we are going to come to the uh, snippets, no, sorry, sections, section over here, open please, and header sections header dot liquid and we're gonna scroll down to line 78 and here as we see line 79 it says if section settings show menu so here we are showing the menu as i said you have to decide if you want to include the drop down before the menu or after the menu if you have decided to include the menu before i mean the drop down before you will need to add the following line as a new line in 79. If you've decided to do it after the drop-down, you, you want it here, you need to add the next line in the line 84 after this block. Let's say, for example, that we want the drop-down menu after our menu. So in line 84, we're going to do curly bracket include include drop down make sure you write it properly so curly bracket the percentage include the this um, double quotes drop down double quotes percentage and curly brackets again if you want to include it before the menu just put the same stuff, line 79, here. But I'm going to include it after the menu. Now we can save this, this file by pressing save. And this is going to include our drop-down file. So we need to create now the drop-down file. I'm going to collapse the sections and go to snippets. Inside the snippets, I'm going to scroll down and click new file. Here now, I'm going to write the name. It's going to be drop down. As we've said, include drop down. It's going to be drop down and create file. This has created an empty file inside of snippets. And here we can create our drop down. I decided to do it that way. So you have all the drop down here and it's easier for you in the future to edit the drop down. So 
instead of needing to go to the header, having to search for the line where you want to edit, uh, where you want, where you have the drop down, it's more easy. It's easier to come to snippets, drop down, and here you have drop down. Okay, so now it's time to drop to write the drop down. It's gonna there's gonna be some HTML code, but it's nothing really hard to do. So the first thing that we want to have is a UL, which is an unordered list. Yeah, I'm telling a little bit so you know also a bit of HTML. The next thing is that it's gonna be class, and we're gonna have two classes. One is nav, and the other one is navbar nav. This is telling the HTML that it has to apply some styles which are already predefined in our Premiere theme. Then we are missing some styles for the dropdown and we're gonna force them by writing styles equals, sorry, style equals margin zero semicolon display inline block. So with this, we are opening an, an ordered list with a class and style. I'm probably going to leave the all the code below the description of the video so you have it easier to access, to copy-paste this code so you are sure you are not missing anything. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a list item in this in the in our list. The class of the first one is going to be dropdown. And the style, which is missing from this class, it's going to be margin zero. We have now to close the item and I co I'm going to close also the unordered list. Remember HTML, you always have to open and close. Well, not always, but almost always. In this case, yes, we have to. The next thing that we're going to add is the link to open the menu itself. In this case, it's going to be an A, and this link is not going to point anywhere. So the users will be able to click and open and toggle the drop down. This link is going to have a class also, which is drop down toggle. And this class will automatically style our opening of the drop down for ourselves. Then we need something to tell the, the framework beho behind Premiere that this is a drop down. And this is done by data toggle drop down. Here we have to put the text that we're gonna use for the first link, the link that will open open and close our drop down. I'm gonna say open. This can be later modified, but just for this for now, I'm gonna say open. Okay, so I've closed the link. The next thing that we have to do is to write the dropdown itself. So I'm going to do UL because it's another unordered list of elements and the class is going to be dropdown menu. I'm going to also close close the UL so we have it close. And here we gonna, we're going to add the links itself. So li, because it's a list item, then a link pointing to somewhere, let's say, for example, the first one is going to point to our site, so kajab, oops, kajabiexpress.com, and it's going to say home, and I'm going to close, and close, and I can copy this first link and add it three times, let's say, and the second one is going to point to Google, And the third one is going to point to Facebook. All right. I'm going to do one of them, the Google one. I want it to be open in a new tab. So this is also something which I get asked very much a lot of time. So here we're going to say target equals, oops, here, blank. And with this, our our uh, link will open in a new tab. All right, so we can save now and we can try what we just wrote. Refresh. And here we have our menu, which says open, home, Google, and Facebook. 
home, goes to kajabiexpress.com, Google will open Google in a new tab, as you saw, and Facebook will open Facebook. So with this, we have our drop-down menu. As I've said, I'm gonna leave all the code in a link below the description of the video. So you can go and grab it and you make sure you don't forget anything. In case that in the future you want to edit the drop-down menu, you're gonna just edit the, the code theme, the theme of uh, the, the code of the theme, come to snippets and hit the dropdown.liquid. And here you have your code separate. You can either add more options, yeah. If you wanna add another one, for example, and another one be, be afterwards, you can duplicate this, paste it below, or you can even add more snippets, and then in the header, add them following this tutorial again. And yeah, as I said at the beginning, if you are one of our Hero customers, or you wanna buy the Hero theme, you will not need to write code. So, as you can see here, I'm just editing my hero theme in the header and here I have all the menu. Yeah, the menu is built here. And if we go to preview our hero theme, we see that we have all our menu here and it even has more than one level. So you can easily edit, change, modify and add multiple levels in the hero theme without even touching a single line of code. So with that being said, I hope this video helped you and yeah, I hope you guys like it. See you soon. And by the way, did I see that you can check another cool video here? Yeah, just click here and watch another video from Kajabi Express series to learn more about Kajabi. Or, or well, you can click right here and subscribe to the channel and you won't miss any of our videos. And did I say that we can, I mean, that you can see us in kajabiexpress.com? Yeah, go ahead and visit kajabiexpress.com.